Hello, Hello everybody. everybody! Welcome to PCB channel, it's Leslie. This is Luisa, and today's topic is Arduino. Arduino is an open source platform used to make electronic projects. It consists of both a physical programmable circuit board and a piece of software or an IDE that runs on your computer. Used to write or upload computer codes to your physical board. Let's see, nowadays, Arduino is quite popular with not only with the one who are professional in this field, but the one who just start with the electronics. Yes, and I believe in our last seven videos, there are many projects based on Arduino which have been shared with the guys like this one, this one, and this one. So we decided to bring up with more cool Arduino projects with the guys because it's the last video for our show, Innovation and Implementation Season 1. There's a giveaway for you guys, so stay tuned. Let's go check today's projects. Arduino Uno is an open source microcontroller board which is based on 80MB328P microcontroller and was developed by Arduino.cc. Arduino Harbor once built a Turk Duino Uno R4 which was inspired by the map of Turkey and the Turkish flag. Luisa, this project is just wonderful. It's a special Arduino for Turkey and Turks. Right. Lastly, we've made a video about robots. After that, what's your understanding or are there any different thinking about our PCB wares robot projects? Mm, some robot projects are inspired by a movie or a robot image. I mean, some creature-shaped robots. I got the, the same impression like you. Mm -hmm. And today, we'll introduce another robot project for you guys. Mechadico Robotics was a big fan of Johnny Five Robots, acting as his ideal model of robot designing. Johnny Five Robot has a friendly head, functional arms and hands, and tank tracks as a method of locomotion. As a fan, Mechadico developed several similar projects, and with each iteration, they became bigger, stronger, with more functions and possibilities, and improved his creative skills. This robot has an Arduino Mega 2560 to control all 13 servo motors. Also connected to the Arduino is an H-bridge to control the grippers and another H-bridge to control the tank tracks DC motors. There is one more Arduino inside the head which controls the LED matrix. At the bottom of the head is a Wi-Fi camera to stream images to a smartphone. This camera was taken from a Sigma X5 SW1 quad copter. Therefore, this project can be called a sequel to a lineage of robots inspired by Johnny 5. Luisa, it's freaking cool. It makes me remind of your hands for balancing PID system. What these two projects have in common is that they are both full of technological sense. This system holds a ball in balance on a plate. A webcam film the system and a Python program analyzes the image to find the precision of the ball. The Python program calculates the tilting of the tray to prevent the ball from falling. A PID regulator is used to compensate for the movements of the ball. The position and speed of the ball are measured by the camera and these measurements are used by the PID regulator in the Python program. For balancing, Sean once made a DIY Arduino balancing robot, the Pity Boot. The Pity Boot is a small open source balancing robot with the aim of teaching pitch control using a hands-on concept. Anyone can play with the Pity Boot and start to develop an understanding of what the P, I, and D terms within the pit loop do, even if that person has no concept of the math behind the control itself. It is a great teaching tool for the classroom. The program Sean has written for the pity boot uses the potentiometers to physically control the pit turns. This way, the maker can turn them in real time and see the effect that they have on the control parameters. The pity boot can also be programmed with more complex programs as well. There are encoders for the wheels to add more stability, and if you like, you can add Bluetooth for remote monitoring. Luisa, I found one interesting comment under your hands video. Which one? This one. Dylan once said, more stable than my life. 
<laughs> okay, I have to say that the lion and we all appreciate this balancing robot so much. Just make fun of himself or yes, laugh. Yes, it's humor. But I really hope everyone cannot be so hard on themselves. You know, our life cannot be so stable, but it could be the meaning of our life. I totally agree. And for example, this project might fail a few times, but he made it. That makes me feel that the instability is just a part of our life. Just enjoy it. Yes. Let's see, as you mentioned power and battery, I'd like to introduce Brad's project to our PCB wares. In the mission to correctly sort and analyze all his reclaimed lithium, Brad once made an Arduino Nano 4X1865 smart charger discharger open source project. This project's discharger battery tester has a barcode scanner that scans barcodes on batteries and input all the data into an online database portal. The last one. So the, the barcode scan is plugged into the, lap, into the laptop and it's just entering via the, um, on the web page. Okay, they're all in charge cycle now. Next project, Emerald Arduino Motorized Camera Slider. For people like him, who loves to show some random hobbyist videos, it's quite expensive to buy a motorized camera slider. So he built his own. In this tutorial, we'll go through each step to build our own Bluetooth-controlled motorized camera slider. Lastly, this slider makes the shooting process more professional. We definitely need one. Yes, when you wish. Okay, fine. Let's go check the next project. Roman once made an Arduino Nano programming calculator. Luisa, this calculator wrecked me when I was preparing the college entrance examination. Students use the Casio calculator to verify the correctness of their complex calculations. Yes, it do help a lot. We are so talented when we are in high school fixing out so many difficult math and science problems. And this process made me believe the secret of being smarter, stronger is just practice and practice. Yes. 100% agree, and I also get the feeling that Arduino is everywhere. For example, Jonathan made a smart trash can, it will automatically open and close the lid by induction. He also made a thermometer using LM35 Arduino. Okay, chicos, entonces vean primero sale BioMaker, luego PCBWay y luego ya te muestra los grados. Que ahorita decíamos que estaba en 28 a 30, vean. Ahí les está mostrando. And on the Easy Homemade Projects How to Videos, he introduced the whole process to teach us how to make a data weight scale. Lastly, the connector in the project is so important, not only for the function of connecting different parts, but also it is always being optimized constantly. Nikodem once made a brushless DIY module trash down with Arduino. This project fixed the problem when a maker wants to combine different parts or modules properly together. Luisa, being a maker can save some money, or I'll say that saving money can push us to explore our potential. I'm all, you're right. As I know, Nicodin once had an internship at CIT working on designing airfoil and testing the drum. At the free time, he self-learned the skill of PCB designing. Do you have a similar self-learning experience, Leslie? Truly, I have. You know, it's meaningful to learn some foreign language like Japanese and Spanish. Japanese? 
スモイラスリー、えっと、自分でたくさんの言語を学ぶことができるのは素晴らしいことだと思います。グラシアス、ルイサ、ドゥハバンネス、エス、アサンブラソ。グレイズ、ラスリー。ラスリー、now you are our video editor, right? Yes.、Uh, PR in some Computer operation skills requires our high self-learning ability and persistence in the spirit of research. You really did a great job, my friend. Thanks a lot. And I also find it interesting that lots of great makers are just make improvements instantly from an electronic editor. We have to pay much time and efforts to reach out better us. PCB Wells, you all did a great job. Thumbs up for everyone. Thanks for watching our videos. Here's a giveaway for you guys. Cause you have subscribed us and watch our videos all the time. Pick up one of your favorite Arduino projects in this video and leave your reason in the comment. We'll choose four of them to give away Arduino modules randomly. Come participate in it. Uh, that's all we prepared for you guys today. We've introduced projects weekly for eight episodes now. The themes are like COVID-19, LED, robots, game, art, IoT, Arduino, watch and clocks. Because、um, this, this video is the last episode of season one. If you have any advice or comments about our video content, leave it below in the comment. We'll read it carefully. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video. Any kind of interaction means a lot to us. Supporting projects is our permanent position. If this video brings you any inspiration, just drop a message to sponsor at pcbway.com to get sponsorship for your unfulfilled projects. Go for innovation, we'll account for implementation. See you in innovation and implementation season 2. Welcome back soon! Bye bye! bye. bye.